Hi right, everybody, uh, it's Mike Lott and I'm going to be making another Path of Exile video showcasing the build I've made. Uh, this is uh, Evasion Lat, uh, and this is uh, full evasion stacking bow ranger and it's a really terrible idea. And I'll explain to you why. Uh, basically in Path of Exile there's a hardcore league called uh, Nemesis. Uh, also hardcore, but Nemesis is also a variation of uh, hardcore. And what hardcore mode basically is in this game is if you die, you get kicked back to softcore, which is the equivalent of your character dying. Like, like you lose it. That's it. It's gone. So, like, all this beautiful stuff and currency I have in my stash obviously will not carry with me over to softcore. So the character, in essence, would be dead to me, and I would no, no longer play it, and I would reroll something else. And uh, this is a funny class, actually, because I um, or a funny build, uh, shall I say, because it actually started off as a bit of a joke, because every ranger... Uh, especially evasion stacking rangers I've ever had uh, have died uh, and they die really quickly because they play like a fucking idiot and, and kind of get myself killed by just running into groups and shit like that well I've been playing like this uh, the entire time and I, this one hasn't died uh, Jalen died actually he was playing with me as a shadow melee shadow stacking evasion energy shield and he died to Dominus I have a highlight on my uh, YouTube channel of that this one didn't die though and it, she made it up to level 71. It's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, and I'm going to show her off a bit uh, to you. And I'll show you a bit of the passive tree. For you, for both those of you who don't really get the theory, Evasion actually got changed a little bit uh, in Path of Exile. It used to be actually a, a, a random chance uh, to, do, to evade attacks. And so Evasion is obviously, you know, you negate the damage completely. Like, there's, like, you don't get hit by the attack. However, I... <laughs> I am not stacking armor at all, which means uh, if something does get through and hit me, it fucking hurts. And, you know, the, the, the ranger tree starts with a lot of, like, nice little evasion nodes and stuff like that. This one, Heart of Oak, is fucking the best one ever because 30% chance to avoid being stunned. Man, there is nothing else like that uh, that is usable for me because you get stunned a lot. Every time you get hit, you get stunned, basically. So this is like this gr saving grace of the entire build and also some mana and shit from here. And so most of the stuff at the top is just like projectile damage and whatever nodes. Um, just some nice like evasion and life and physical damage combinations, some life, some more life, uh, things like that. So on the subject of uh, avoiding being stunned, uh, one of the notable things you can get to avoid that is you can't evade enemy attacks, but you cannot be stunned. Well, you can see why this wouldn't really be an option for my class, because I kind of need to evade enemy attacks. It's kind of the center of my build, so this is... I, I'm just letting you know that this is like a function of the game, so... So yeah, Heart of Oak was, was pretty much one of the more important uh, abilities of, of mine. Um, Charisma, which reduces mana reserve, which is a part of the mana... Uh, from auras that you reserve away from your mana pool. This actually helps you run two of them. Uh, I also get a bunch of evasion nodes from the center of the scion tree. And also all the life ones I could possibly pick up. There's some more life ones I can get like down here and also possibly berserking for more attack speed. But this is generally how my build went. Uh, I also got like some life over here and some physical damage. Mana flow, uh, mana geyser, sorry it's mana geyser, it gives you some mana and stuff like that. Now to the actual, uh, uh, you know, kind of the, the meat of the build. Well, obviously this isn't, but I kind of like the more health recovery from flasks because I need them. But um, this is actually one of the best things right here is doubles chance to evade projectile attacks. So what it does is, um, in the way the in this in the way the the game works for eva evasion basically is it calculates it based upon uh, it's actually entropy ran randomization. As I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, entropy. Entropy randomization, anyways. Um, and what that what that essentially means is that instead of it being purely left up to chance, it's basically like a mathematical calculation where it goes: uh, you start with a base entropy, so it randomizes a number between one and ninety-nine, and it kind of like adds a number when you uh, when you miss, adds a number when sorry, adds a number when you evade, adds a number when you evade, and eventually when it gets over hundred, then you get hit. And the, and and this number is based upon like the evasion versus the enemies. Uh, 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 accuracy versus your evade, chance to evade. And so there's that net percentage to dodge, and this doubles that to a maximum of 95%. Uh, 
uh, which is fucking ridiculous. And this is actually the thing I really like about this build, which is evasion attacks become a total fucking joke and are really, really fun to evade because it's just like, you, you take everything you've learned about playing Path of Exile and surviving and you throw it out the window because those things don't hurt you anymore. Different things hurt you and they hurt you really bad, but still, it's actually, <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect this to work at all. As I said, this whole character was kind of built under the premise that I was going to die in like, I don't know, normal or something. And also the other uh, cornerstone of the build is acrobatics. And it's basically you get a 30% chance to dodge attacks. 50% less armor and energy shield, and less armor and energy shield, obviously not a big deal to me since I'm not stacking either. Uh, and then with that you get another actual 10% in these small nodes, and a 30% chance to spell dodge. Which is, uh... Uh, spells normally have 100%, there's, there's two types of attacks, it's attacks and spells, and spells always have a 100% chance to hit, except with this. And also, like, the ability to block them with other means, but this is basically the most you can, you can negate spell damage. Completely within the tree besides just you know stepping out of the way or something um, It's really cool upside Unfortunately, I don't think it's good enough, and I don't really like this class for that reason, but I'll explain to you a little bit why later um, the, the thing to note is the language being used here is dodge versus evasion and dodge is a separate role from evasion So I have a 40% chance to dodge before it tries to calculate it with evasion, and uh, it's important to note that dodge is not entropy based, so it's entirely possible for me to get 10 really bad dodge rolls or 10 really good dodge rolls. Um, so this one's kind of like this one's RNG completely. Uh, so I, I don't really like this stuff, and um, it's because I don't find it to be reliable, but I find this one to be really nice and reliable. And uh, so I'm gonna, so that's uh, it for my build, and I'll show you the items. I got like a a nice kind of bow here, and I've only managed to get four links, uh, you know, because I, I, as I said once again, I didn't think I'd really live with this class. Um, I got a ice shot with a range attack totem with faster attacks and elemental prolif, which basically if I freeze anything, it spreads to enemies around it. Uh, normally I'd actually have a, a multi, uh, uh, lesser projectiles and stuff, but uh, I don't know, Pat told me to remove it because he's a dick. Uh, also, uh, I also have a, this would be my Reign of Arrows, which is the primary skill you'll be seeing me use. It has faster attacks, life leech, and mana leech. If I had it on a 5 link or 6 link, I'd be able to do much more with this, but I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a butthole and I, I haven't done anything like that. I also have a Frenzy, which is an, the, my single target ability with mana leech, faster attacks, and fire damage. And the mana leech on both these abilities basically makes it sustainable for me to use with my low mana pool. The life leech on this one prevents me from dying to reflect because they'll reflect damage back at me. However, I have a chance to evade the reflect since my chance to hit is not 100% and I have a very high chance to evade so that's really nice. Uh, just a sash. Uh, I also have a... Where is this? Uh, projectile weakness. I forgot to put that back on. I have cast on damage taken when I take a bit of damage. Uh, I'm going to cast Endurance Cry, which automatically gives me some Endurance Charges, which is really nice for staying alive, because the physical damage reduction by Acrobatics does not apply to this. And there's also, uh, I'll curse them too, because I'm really lazy and don't want to cast curses myself. And last but not least, I have like Lightning Warp for some utility and grace and hatred as my auras. Hatred grants me a, f um, a percentage of my physical damage added as cold damage. Grace gives me a flat bonus to evasion rating, which is really nice. And so if, now if I hop into this fancy portal I have here that mysteriously was was here to begin with, you'll see I'm mysteriously about to fight Piety, uh, which is uh, on Merciless, uh, level 3. This is a map viable class, but I want to show you Piety for a very good reason. Um, and so just to kind of show you kind of what my chance to dodge is, I have a 62% chance to evade, which is like, I guess like, two out of five uh, attacks against me will, will be evaded. It won't do anything to me. Projectile attacks, this doubles, and it caps to 95. So projectile attacks are a non-issue. They will not hit me, which is kind of nice. Um, my resistors are almost capped except for chaos because I'm a, I'm a dipshit like that. And also my, my speed is really good. Like a, It's kind of like I'm always running around with a Quicksilver flask. It's kind of funny. And uh, so far it's Nemesis and I managed to stay alive, but, you know, as I said, when shit hurts me, it fucking hurts. 
it, I get my health so low, and there's something I do want to show you. Um, so I have a flask that, a uh, uh, quicksilver flask, which makes me move really, really fast. Because I, I don't know, I really like moving fast with this. I don't know really why. I have a jade flask, which I'll show you what that does now. So you can see my chance to evade is 62. And so if I'm in a set tight spot where I think I'm going to need to have basic invincibility frames, I pop that. My chance to evade is now 76%, just for five seconds though. And so I kind of use that and to double my evasion rating as well. Uh, it's important to note that evasion has a very steep fall off. Uh, it's really hard to get it high, uh, which is why I don't really bother. Uh, well, I, I, I tried as much as I could. And 62 is the max I could, ca I could cap it at. Uh, I also have a immunity of flasks. Uh, is it that immunity of curses during flask effect? And removes curses. Uh, that's mainly what this one's for. I don't really know why I have the, the mana. But I guess it's whatever. Uh, and I and I have this one mostly because um, cur certain curses will kick my ass. Like things that increase physical damage will kill me. Uh, projectile weakness makes my... Uh, Anders Guile, the thing that's making me dodge all the projectile attacks. Uh, it makes it hurt again. Uh, they'll actually hit me with that, with projectile weakness on me. That's important. And I have a flask here that uh, gives me more life. And once again, I got an invasion roll on it because fuck you, why not? More evasion. And then I got a, a very um, an instant flask, which I use in case of emergencies, which actually I use it far more than I would like to admit. Because honestly, you know, some of the hits you'll see, you know, half my health goes away and stuff like that. But I don't die because they don't do any follow-up hits, at least not right away. Um, and I get, you know, lots of life leech. And this also removes bleeding because bleeding is also a huge problem in this league. Uh, it's also important to know I have some two really funky uh, 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 items. And this one's, um, uh, this one's kind of interesting. It has a high evasion and it gives me uh, more rarity of items. But it reduced character size. So I could kind of grow and shit like that. Oh, cool, look. See, this is a... Uh, I'm glad she came by, because this is a projectile attack. Oh god, the fucking 95. Now she won't hit me for the next 10 times. Or whatever. Oh no, now she triggered my fucking... Like, my, my... I guess each one is rolled separately. And, you know, even my energy shield has gotten recharged. This is how cool evasion is. Uh, but she is guaranteed to hit me eventually. And the last one, but not least, I also have uh, this one right here, which is um, increased area damage, increased radius of area skills, which is good for rain of arrows. And I got locked out. Okay, fuck off. Okay. You see, you know, rain of arrows is such a powerful ability that, it, you know, kicks me from the game sometimes, you know. Now it's just my shitty Canadian internet connection sometimes. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, so th there you go, and so without further ado, I won't sus put you in suspense anymore. Let's go fight uh, Pidey. Everything I'm about to be doing is probably going to tell you, Mike, that's a really bad idea, but trust me, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for a while. Or maybe I'm really in it just to make a really great freaking video of, of me, I, I, like, having an ironic moment. So, you know, this is a very... This is not like a super fast attack speed. I can have it faster. Uh, mostly through frenzy charges, because they are pretty easily accessible to me, to me in the tree. Um, yet, I don't do that, because I'm... I don't know. I, I did have it at one point, but I determined that life was actually far more important to my survivability. And uh, here, I'll put up the, the ice arrow thing so everything freezes. My health fluctuates, it does a lot, and, you know, it's really, it's really a case of, uh, I'm used to it by now. I mean, I haven't died yet, so clearly I'm doing something right. I've had a lot of close calls, though. I won't lie. Would I recommend this build? No, and I'll explain at the end why. It's a lot of fun, though. But, no, it's not something I'd recommend. So I can kind of go up here and go, hey, aggro them. Or I can kind of just go right in the middle, like, fuck off, like, I can do whatever I want. But if I'm, in a, if I'm in a tight spot, I will pop my flask. And that will help me evade even more. Uh, but, you know, the it's important to note that the uh, your chance to evade is for the entire mob, not individual enemies. So, uh, you know, take that into account. So, you in a mob, you will get hit occasionally, but you can't, you can't really 
dictate by which one. No, your, your mana's not gone. It's fine. Sometimes my mana leash doesn't heal me fast enough, especially when I'm missing occasionally. Uh, so yeah, I can't decide which enemy will hit me. So sometimes if there's like a heavy hitting boss in a group, he'll hit the he'll hit me a ton of times. You know, fucking sucks. But you know I'm alive, so it's okay. Hey, look, dead corpses. Has no one managed to kill you yet, Exile? Then it seems you've earned my personal attention. So this is piety. Yeah, see what I mean there, and see this attack right here. Um, on any other difficulty uh, or character, you would be probably hiding in cover. Um, not many characters could just face tank that. I'm not even face tanking that. And I can face tank this too because she'll never hit me. Well, she'll hit me. Oh, there she hit me. And there, to get some of my health back, I'll just you do this. And use, I can pop my flask too. She's going to use that thing again. And you know, I'll maybe you know pop my... One. So, as I said, this this boss is a total pushover. Uh, like, literally, the worst attack is the, the, that one right there that I killed her. Yeah, cool, I got a superior tropical island map and some other crap here. So, I'm just gonna take all these wonderful items. And pretty much explain to you why I don't like this beautiful, beautiful class. Um, uh, besides the fact it it clearly is a furry. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But um, basically, uh, evade is fun. Uh, but the the drops in health that you see, I get a lot of them. This character is probably gonna die soon. There are some maps I do not dare to run simply because they have bosses that I know will kill me. Um, and mostly the blacksmith on some of the maps, which is basically hit like with like leap slam, fuck you kind of stuff. Um, it's basically not a good character to basically invest a lot of items into. Because, especially for a hardcore build, for a software build, it's fine. If you want to play on uh, Domination League, it's... I, I highly recommend this. I had a lot of fun. Because, you know, it's a lot of fun to kind of just run into the, uh, middle, uh, the, the middle of a bunch of enemies. And just kind of like, rain of arrows yourself. And they'll never touch you. They'll never get you. Um, once in a while, they will get you, though. And the, the ones that get you may kill you. Um, as I said, I, I got some really, like high life gear and stuff and I've been trying to stack health and at least for this character this character does not have enough health for uh, at least a nemesis build uh, especially one with as as uh, with no armor and uh, and I've determined that you know I don't like acrobatics too much because of the fact it's not entropy based it's completely random and I've noticed it doesn't really stack well with actually like actual evasion um, I get hit and it hurts and uh, so, you know, I, so I've been contemplating, you know, uh, revising this build and, you know, re-rolling something else. And so I've actually, the main thing I really like, though, is Andres Guile. That's the, that's the thing that makes this fucking thing for me, because I love this. This is the best node ever. Like, I, I love this thing. If you're doing any kind of evasion, you get that. You get this friggin' node. You don't have to screw the stupid acrobatics. So what I was thinking uh, of doing was something similar to stacking armor and evasion. So a hybrid build. And, uh, and stacking a lot of life with that too, because I, I didn't get enough life from the tree. Uh, I will be the first to admit that. And so if I stack uh, armor and evasion, I, I th still think I'm gonna get the the benefit, the best of both worlds. Basically, I'm gonna get more life since I'm not wasting so many freaking nodes and in, in this stupid like unachievable high evasion uh, stuff. Because as I say, diminishing returns. So the higher you get with evasion the harder it is to stack. And I could, I could get, like, really freaking great gear. Like, this is, like, this stuff is kind of just bullshit. Like, it's bad gear. Like, like, 720 here, this is good. But this stuff's, like, one, one, 154. I'm pretty sure I could get this to, like, 400, and this to 400, too, if I really wanted to. But I don't. Uh, or I could get this to, like, two, oh, like, I could cap this armor piece out of, out of 2,000 with some other piece of armor. Once again, I don't do that. And, and, and it's mostly because, you know, honestly, I think that there, uh, there's a fundamental problem, and that is I didn't get enough health in my own tree here. Because uh, I had to stack so much evasion. And so, yeah, I want to do like a, a armor evasion hybrid next. Because I think I think that's a really good idea. Because um, I, I basically get the Anders Gaal. I could probably cap it out at about 95 again. with Because I, I easily did that with like the, the, the 62 percent. If I get it to like at least 40 percent, I'll get, I'll double that to 80 with projectiles and projectiles will be a joke once again 
Uh, and once I do hit me, it'll be even more of a joke because I have the armor to negate the damage. Uh, with this character, no armor to negate damage. It's unfortunate, but yeah, it's kind of the way it goes. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the that's my build for you, and uh, kind of an interesting uh, build to it. And uh, since it's like the New Year's, I guess I'll finish off with uh, a bit of a, uh, I guess, a telling of things to come. Um, I guess you may, uh, this is more YouTube related. Uh, this is the end of uh, 2013. And I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, and happy holidays. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not that I want to be a downer, but uh, the things are not actually looking very good for, uh, for YouTube right now. Um, I'm still contemplating what to really do. With my channel, I'm liking the streaming uh, aspect, and I, I'm definitely going to shift a bit more to that. But um, as the drama around YouTube unravels, um, I am finding it less and less. Uh, I'm finding it. I, I don't have really the motivation to post anything because I'm finding it that uh, I feel like I'm supporting a really, really bad site. I feel bad um, for being kind of on YouTube to begin with, uh, especially when it's a site as shitty as it is right now. Um, I, I, I don't know, I kind of want to dehook myself from YouTube more. And uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess we'll see uh, what, I, what I plan to do. Uh, as I said, I'm not going away, uh, but you know, it's uh, making me think out a lot of things. And uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens in the new year. Uh, I'm going to actually wait for this whole YouTube drama to unfold, uh, but I'm hoping that, you know, there's going to be some kind of uh, user uprising, uh, or if not, then, you know, uh, you know, it, I don't necessarily have to be the one to participate, okay? But it's changed a lot about the way I think of Google. I used to kind of respect Google a lot more than I usually do, did, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to, as I said, I don't want to be a downer. I just want to, I honestly just want to show, show off the build. But um, I, I'm just I'm just letting you know, warning you of things to come. Uh, I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna delete my channel or some shit again, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see where this all goes. So uh, yeah, so yeah, have a merry holidays and don't die and all that kind of shit. Bye.